get some, some rest. Yeah, I think so. Wayne's ankle's fine. Uh, Landon's doing better. Uh, he was able to practice a couple times this week. He practiced today. Uh, Perry's three days in a row. Uh, looks good. So uh, we're, we're definitely better off than we were the last three weeks or whatnot. So uh, I'm excited about that. And Perry's going to seem to have his confidence back. And again, not from a shooting standpoint, but from a competitive, balanced, aggressive type standpoint. He said he was able to do everything. He's able to do everything now. He's not limited at all. Do you agree with that? Yeah, he's not limited. You know, he, he, even the moves that he put up just this week on his own were all the moves that gave him problems last week. And he's doing it with that. I mean, he's smart on how he's handling the three yeah, he's, he's done a good job with it. And, and I, I don't want to say that he's making shots at, at an 80% clip right now. Uh, but I do. I will say he's, he's close to being back where he was before he got here. So you still notice it with the shot? Well, when I, when I say, you know, when he, when he before he's injured, he, he was on a roll. I mean, he was on a roll. He probably hasn't got that type of rhythm back uh, playing-wise, but he's got the rhythm back from all of What's different about their zone? Well, it's it's uh, they play it high, you know, and they got they got long wings. I think six eight six eight or six eight six nine on the on the, on the wings, and uh, you know Baylor plays theirs very high. And what they do by playing it so high, it it keeps you from being aggressive enough to get the ball flat. And of course, all zones you got to get the ball flat. You got to get the ball to the middle, regardless of zone. So uh, they do a great job of playing high on the floor. We work really hard against trying to attack. Uh, a similar type zone, but we can't simulate their length on the wings. But uh, it is different. It almost looks like a 4 1 zone sometimes. Uh, you know, Baylor's looks like a 1 1, Blue Bears looks like a 4 1. But it has some of the simple rules uh, of how Baylor does it. So hopefully, the guys playing against Baylor will, will make us a little bit more comfortable attacking the You battled the kind of the energy thing all season long. Has a sense of urgency you feel kicked in with this team that like, you won't have to battle that now? Yeah, I, we, we battled it. Uh, uh, against TC, obviously, but you stop and think about it, you know, the, the energy that we need up, I know you were West Virginia, uh, uh, you know, Texas, you know, coming from back, you know, I, you know, we played really well in this beta defensively, we played well in the United State as well as we can play. So, so uh, you know, I, I don't, I think we had one body that was really, really energy. Guys, and that was against uh, uh, TCU, obviously. But I, I don't think that was an issue at all. When, you, when we have the energy, we usually go up and defend a lot better. And, and, and sometimes uh, lack of offense is magnified because you don't have anything that's scoring off your defense or your defense. So, and that's where energy comes in. Landon said uh, he's looking forward to busting some brackets. That's kind of a difficult for Kansas to get a bracket fight. So. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I don't know what uh, people are saying, but I wouldn't think that uh, anyone's uh, favorite pick to to, uh, to do a lot of things or to, to make it to Indianapolis in large part because there's some really good things uh, in our field. But I don't, I'm not sure anybody's saying New Mexico State or Notre Dame or Wichita State or Indiana's the one either because everybody's in with Kentucky. So, so I mean, that, that's a big part of it. But the bottom line is this, we're, we're capable of playing well, but we're also capable, capable of being had when we don't play well. And, and, and we've even had ex-players tell us, hey, we can beat anybody, or you can beat and, and I do think that that is true. There's less margin that we got here. Just having an edge, got about a minute. A good thing. These guys are a little bit. Oh, I think they're the doubters. But you know what? We don't. You know, the doubters are what people say on ESPN or what. Or, or that kind of stuff on guys. I mean, trust me, Frank's not on, his, on the internet listening to what everybody has to say about Kansas and Pitt. I mean, that, that didn't register. So all, all we are really concerned about is, is ourselves and, you know, playing for each other and uh, just getting ourselves right. Because we know that there may be some people out there that think that this team isn't capable of doing special things. But deep in our heart, we know we don't. All right, Coach. Okay. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.